Hi guys, welcome back. Cult Beauty is at it again with a new goodie bag, and this time it is called the 2022 Essentials Goodie Bag. This type of video is very popular on my channel, so I know a lot of you are interested in this. So as usual, I would go over all the details that you need to know, share with you every single product with its actual value, share with you my own calculation of the value, and I've got all the details right here with me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This goodie bag, as I already mentioned, it is called the 2022 Essentials Goodie Bag. It is, according to Cult Beauty, worth over 250 pounds. And we are getting 22 products. And again, according to Cult Beauty, we are getting seven full sizes. And the rest range from mainly deluxe samples but we also have some travel sizes. This goodie bag can be yours when you spend 160 pounds or above. And they did send a pre-access email to some of their customers. I received mine yesterday. We did get a code and you had to be signed in to be able to use that code. So not everybody could use it, but by the time this video is up, it should probably be live on their website for everybody. As usual, I'll go over the full sizes, then move on to travel sizes, and finally deluxe sizes. The number one full-size product is actually a duo, and it is by 1999 Beauty. We are getting their precision color pencil. You will see the ones, the shades that we'll get on camera, and each of them is worth 19 pounds, so together they will be worth 39 pounds, or 38 pounds. These pencils are quite nice. You can use them in the waterline or on your lips. It's all going to depend really on the color that you get. We did get them in the past, I think in two goodie bags already. So to me, it's a little bit of an overkill to see them in a lot of goodie bags, but they are nice. I'm not saying anything negative about the product itself because it is a good one, but I would have liked to see maybe the same from a different brand or a different product in general. Number two full size is also a makeup item and is by a brand called All About Face. We are getting the Light Lock Stick and it doesn't say which shade we will get. So we might get any of the shades available. They do range from like pinkish to nudish to, I think they have one that is almost transparent. So I believe this is a highlighter stick. Again, I'm not super excited about it. I don't wear these. If I were to wear highlight, it's usually in powder form. But regardless, this is worth 21.5 pounds, which is not bad. Third product that Caught Beauty is considering to be a full size is their own pouch or whatever the stuff is gonna come in. It's called the Caught Beauty Holographic Makeup Bag, and that is worth 15 pounds, even though you cannot purchase it on its own. I'm not sure how I feel about the holographic pattern. I mean, I don't like that personally. Maybe some of you do. I would have preferred their transparent makeup bags. Those are really good. But I don't know, maybe this one will also be good once I see it in front of me. The next full size product is by the brand Frank Body and we are getting their In Your Dream Scrub 240 grams and that is worth 13.96 pounds. We did get in the past Frank Body. I did mention, I'm not sure if this is a coffee scrub or not, but I personally do not like coffee scrubs because they clog the drain in my shower. I much prefer to use um, a salt scrub or a sugar scrub. To be honest, sugar more than salt, but anything that melts away and nothing that really clogs the drain. It's not a bad product, but it's all going to depend on what you like. But again, it's not something I would purchase with my own money. The fifth full-size product is by Huda Beauty. We are getting the eyeliner. It's called the Life Liner Quick and Easy. It is worth 16 pounds. I did see Huda talk about this and I did see her use it and it did look really good on camera. However, the reviews aren't great, but we shall see. I mean, I don't mind eyeliners. I use them all the time. I have one on right now. The final product that Cult Beauty is considering to be a full size, which in my opinion isn't, it's a pair of eye masks by the brand Patchology. I do love their eye masks, don't get me wrong, but this is not a full size. If you're giving me one pair, I mean, it cannot be, like, it doesn't have a travel size. If you are considering this to be a full size, then it means the travel size would be what, like half an eye patch? I honestly don't get it why they are considering this to be a full size. 
it obviously isn't they do sell them in like five pairs or i think a little bit more 30 pairs so obviously it is not a full size but cow beauty is considering it a full size and that is worth three pounds so so far i've gone through all the full size products and to be quite honest with you i am not excited about a single one of them i mean i can use some of them don't get me wrong but there's nothing really calling me in usually with cop beauty goodie bags there's always like the full sizes are always so good but this time i think it's not the case anyway moving on to travel sizes the first travel size is a product that i love but i'm tired of seeing in goodie bags is by brio geo and it's the don't despair repair hair conditioning mask this is a wonderful conditioning mask but if you're somebody getting the Caught Beauty Advent Calendar or goodie bags on a regular basis, you probably have tried this and you probably have a backup of it. And I would have loved to see maybe like a different product from Biogeo or maybe a different brand. But anyway, I'm not complaining. We are getting 59 ml and that is worth 12 pounds. The next travel size is a brand that is relatively new to Caught Beauty. I think they launched it last year and we did receive them we did receive a scrub from them last year in one of their goodie bags. It is the brand Codex. We are getting the Bia or Baya Beauty Superfood. We are getting 20 ml and that is 10 pounds. Apparently this is like a superfood mask that you put on your skin. This is a little bit exciting because it is a new brand that I haven't tried much from. So I am excited to try this out. And the final travel size that we are getting is by the brand NARS. And we are getting the mini afterglow lip balm in orgasm or Dolce Vita. And that is worth around nine pounds. Again, this is a nice product, but do I need a new lip balm? Probably not, but will I use it? Yes. I'm actually quite happy it is in here. I don't know why I feel like I sound negative or maybe like ungrateful. I am grateful at the end of the day we are getting all of this without paying anything for them. But I don't know, there's something about this goodie bag that's not rubbing me the right way. And it could be because of all the things that have been happening with Cult Beauty recently, like one on top of the other. It really kind of saddens me. Anyway, let's move on to deluxe sizes. The next product is actually one I am excited to try and it is an eye cream by the brand Algenist and we're getting the Triple Algae Eye Renewal Balm. We're getting 5 ml which is not bad for an eye cream and that is worth 16 pounds. For whatever reason I've been interested in this brand quite a lot recently. I did see some reviews on YouTube that were great so excited to try this out. The next deluxe sample is a face mist by the brand Biosance. We are getting Squalane and Hyaluronic Toning Mist. 30 ml, so it's not a full size, but I'm surprised they put it as a deluxe size. I would consider that to be like a travel size. And that is worth 10 pounds. Third product is by the brand Malin Goats. We've gotten this so many times in the past. It is the Vitamin E Face Moisturizer. We are getting 10 ml and that retails or that is worth 3.7 pounds. Another product that I'm quite excited about is by Glow Recipe. We are getting the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. We are getting 5 ml only and that is worth 3.8 pounds. There's a dog barking outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's quite loud. And I'm sorry, I apologize. This next product is one of the products that is pushing me into getting this goodie bag. It is by the brand Pharmacy and we are getting, I would say, a deluxe sample or a travel size of the Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. We are getting 15 ml, which is quite generous for a sample, and that is worth 13.2 pounds. I am so excited to try this. I haven't tried anything from Pharmacy other than their cleansing balm but I did hear great things about this so if I end up getting it it could be because of this product next up we've got a product by Espa we're seeing Espa a lot recently and I think that all has to do with the fact that Espa is owned by the Hut Group which currently owns Cult Beauty we are getting the clean and green detox mask and it is 30 ml and it's worth 21.8 pounds Next up, we've got a product by Milk Makeup and we are getting the Hydro Grip Primer, 5 ml and that is worth, sorry, 4 ml and that is worth 
6.8 pounds. Quite expensive for 4 ml. Next up, we've got a product by the brand Murad. I love a lot of his products. We are getting the Vita C Triple Exfoliating Facial. For a while there, we were getting exfoliating treatments like crazy, like I would say maybe three or four in one goodie bag, and then that kind of suddenly stopped. But getting one is not bad actually in a goodie bag. And I don't know, everything I try from this brand seems to work so well for me. So I am really excited to try this. We are getting only 10 ml and that is worth 8.37 pounds. Next up, we've got a product by It Cosmetics and we are getting the Confidence in a Cream Hydrating Moisturizer, 7 ml and that retails for seven pounds. Next, we have a product by Way, and we are getting the Leave-In Conditioner and we are getting 25 ml and that is worth 5.55 pounds. I actually do own this product. I recently showed it to you guys, but I have the one that is a collaboration between Way and Byredo. I think it's a good leave-in conditioner, but I love that one for the scent. So I am excited to see what the original smells like. Next up, we've got a product by Pi Skincare and we're getting the Resurrection Girl. I believe this is like a mask and we're getting 10 ml and that retails or is worth 5.8 pounds. Three more products to go. One of them is one that you see in most of Cult Beauty's goodie bag and it is by Nature Lab Tokyo, the Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. We are getting 30 ml and that is worth around 2.2 pounds. This is a good product and I have used many of them, but I have never been able to actually purchase the product because Cult Beauty keeps on putting it in their goodie bags. And that can be a good thing for those of you who love this product because you never have to pay for it, fully pay for it. But for me, I would have loved to see maybe a different brand or a different product. It's a little bit repetitive. Next product is by the brand Shani Darden and we're getting the Retinol Reform. It's a retinol serum. We are getting 5 ml and that is worth 13.33 pounds. I've heard great things about this brand but never really tried it. So it is good to see something new in the goodie bag. Final product is by the brand Philip Kingsley and we are getting the Bond Builder Restructuring Treatment 40 ml and that is worth 7.5 pounds. I haven't tried anything from Philip Kingsley. I always get like samples or something similar to this in a goodie bag, but I always end up giving it away. But one of you mentioned to me that it's really good for the hair. So I will definitely be trying this one out and see how well it compares to, let's say, Olaplex. That was the final product you will be getting in this goodie bag. I do think we have good products in this goodie bag, but I feel like it's not as exciting as a cult beauty goodie bag, if you know what I mean. Like their goodie bags used to be the best in the game. I would save all the products that I want to get to get them only for from Cult Beauty, specifically for goodie bags. But I feel like this goodie bag is not at the same level of the rest. Like recently, um, Space NK had a small goodie bag that in my opinion was amazing. It had like full-size Luna oil and some other really luxurious products. So I immediately wanted to get that and I immediately placed an order. And with this goodie bag, I'm still thinking about it. Like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it or not. And honestly, the main reason that I might get this is for this channel, because you guys like me unboxing this. But if I didn't have a YouTube channel, and if I were to be any regular customer, I would say this time I would skip it. And another thing I wanna mention is that Cult Beauty always used to estimate their goodie bags at a lower price from my own calculation. And that used to always be very um, impressive to me. But recently I've noticed like their edits and their goodie bags are overestimated. Like I did the calculation for this and my calculation came out to be 228 pounds 0.51 to be specific. And they are claiming that it is worth more than 250. And bear in mind that my calculation includes their makeup bag, which will be the bag that they would put all the samples in. So I don't know, anyway, there's only like a 20 pound difference between my estimation and theirs, but that never used to happen in the past and my estimation would always be much higher than the claimed value. That could be also because of the recent takeover. Honestly, I have seen a lot of changes and I did want to make a video in the past, but I told myself that no, I love Cult Beauty and 
I still want to be a supportive customer. And I thought to myself that maybe, you know, this is just a stage or a phase because of the takeover and things are a little bit different. So they're not really sure how to do things. So I wanted to give them some time to figure things out. And I did see some positive changes since the initial takeover, which wasn't great to be honest, but there are still certain things that I see and I don't like. I feel like the transparency that we had before with Cop Beauty doesn't exist as much as it did. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I might consider doing a video where I can discuss like different aspects of this if you want me to do so. I would love to know your thoughts and I would love to know like what questions or what topics you want me to cover in that video if I were to do it. Let me know, are you picking this up or not? Do you like it? Do you share the same thoughts as I do? Or do you have a different opinion? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for my future content. And I shall see you in my next one. Bye guys.